Imagine if your car could get 100 miles a gallon. Not in the distant future, but right now. Some cutting-edge inventors are on the brink of making that happen. And that's the goal of the competition known as the Automotive X Prize. The organisers say they'll hand out $10 million to whoever can build a clean, production-ready car that gets 100 miles a gallon. Detroit might learn a thing or two from this. I caught up with one of the X Prize teams in Austin, Texas at the Maker Fair Festival. It's a place where the guys from Illuminati Motorworks fit right in. What we're trying to do is increase the mileage by doing uh, everyday types of changes. What can you do to reduce the air drag? What can you do to increase the efficiency of... Hey, who's asking who the question's here? What's going on here? These are Moon Eye hubcaps. Um, what these do is reduce the amount of aerodynamic drag you get coming down the side of the car. So we got a fraction of a mile per gallon increase with this, about 0.2, so one-fifth of a gallon. We've made a few mods under the hood. It, uh, it looks like an engine. Actually, it's a pretty nice one. This car's when we got it, got just over 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. And when we were done with this one, we got 37 and a half. We put in an engine block heater, gives you extra mileage on cold starts. And what energy do you use for the heater? You plug it in at night, and it costs about 40 cents a night to do that. Oil fill cap, take it off, put in synthetics. We got a three mile per gallon increase. It's a four quart system, cost you 28 bucks. Regular, it's gonna cost you 20. So $8 more to get three more miles to the gallon, I think it's worth it. Window tinting in Texas is fairly obvious. It helps keep the radiant energy from the sun out of the vehicle, which reduces the load on your air conditioning compressor. Most air conditioning pressors in cars require six horsepower to run. The one that, that cools your entire house is two horsepower or less. Hang on, it takes three times more energy to cool a car than a house? Yes, that's correct. Um, you have a lot of wind going over the car. You have a lot of radiant heat hitting the car. So you want to reduce the heat load on the car. You can do that by adding insulation or simply putting on a dark window tint. Got it. The basic premise is that anyone can make these amendments. We experienced an 18% increase in efficiency, and we did all the changes in nine days, ordered the parts, put them on the vehicles, and drove from Illinois to Texas in that time. Welcome so, to the future. Yes. Cool car. I was pretty much sold on the shiny hubcaps alone. If you want to check out other inventions from Maker Faire, just visit our website, sciencechannel.com slash brink. Coming up on Brink, aliens visit Earth. In the remake of the sci-fi classic, The Day the Earth Stood Still, I'll talk with physicist Michio Kaku on the search for visitors from beyond. Now here's a quiz for you. Find the fake among these three stories. In Japan, a toddler daycare center opens, staffed entirely by robots. Or in Iraq, the US Army deploys its first battlefield laser. Or in Africa, a doctor amputates a boy's leg following instructions sent by text message. One of those stories is fake, but which one? The answer, coming right up.